not bad scenery for the Dollar Tree parking lot. <laughs> We're in, oh, near Danville, Pennsylvania or something. I like these marble plates. Still haven't seen the blue plates, not in Minnesota, not in Pennsylvania, apparently. I am looking for a nail kit. I forgot to bring my file and my clippers. That's cute. Little matchbook of nail files. I can tell I'm back east. Look at all the Uts. This is a brand they do not have out, e um, out in Minnesota, but that I grew up with. Fun. They have their fallout here. Oh, look at these. These are so nice. These are so pretty. It on that's cute. These are cute. Many cute things. Yeah. Sure, babe. Hannah found a little backpack for the beach, just so she doesn't have to bring her big bag. Smart. We are in Pennsylvania, so this is a Pennsylvania Dollar Tree haul. Uh, Hannah and I both went in and got some stuff, so we'll show you what we got. Uh, do you want to start? Sure. You start. Um, so I started off by getting this little backpack for the beach. Only a dollar, and they have different it, colors, right? Yeah, they had purple, blue, and black. I went with blue because it's not going to get as hot, I feel. Um, and then I got these little hair clips. Here. The claw clips. They're great for, like, half-ups and stuff. Mm -hmm. I, would, I can't fit my whole hair in it, but, yeah, they're great for half-ups. And then the next things I got, they're for our cousins that we're going to go see. Um, I approved it with their parents, so... Yeah, she called her, her uncle Just to make, to make sure, sure that the boys liked what she was getting and that the girl is allowed to use what she was getting. So go ahead. So first I got the girl some like molding dough mm -hmm. stuff to, so she can play with it. And then I also got her two little nail polishes. So that's what we had to call about. We had to make sure she's allowed to paint her nails. Yes. Here, let me show the colors. So a little pink and silver glitter. And then for the boys, I got them each a little figure. One's Captain America and one's the Flash. Chris likes those. Uncle so, approved. Uncle approved. You remember, I got some of those. Chris has all of those, I actually. Have those, yeah. I got them all for him at some other time. The little boys have them, too. I was about to say, how did you get any more? Yeah, my dad has all of those. They only had Flash at this one, so I got them a Captain America, so. And then the next thing I got were just a bunch of, like, Matchbox cars, so just to... Ex and they're, like, the real brand, so that's yeah. nice. And there's a bunch of different ones. They had, like, really, like, cool, like, sporty ones, but then they also had, like, older ones. Oh, that's like cute. Older fashion cars, so I got them a little bit of a variety. And Picture I also got them a banana car. Ooh, I like that one. I thought that was fun. It's very cool. Yeah. All right, so those are Hannah's purchases. I got some essentials. I got us some body wash, some shower, some shampoo, because we realized when we were at the hotel this morning that we had forgotten those things. And then I did get us loofahs just for the trip. We can even chuck them at the end of the trip. We don't have to bring them home wet, but just because we're going to be staying with some with people throughout this trip, so this way we don't have to like do, dirty all their laundry. Okay, so that's that bag. But the fun stuff I got, so I got a bunch of reading materials. I'm so excited to take these to the beach. I got rotisserie chicken recipes. These are only a dollar. So that's like one chicken, 35 recipes. Then I got small space kitchens, easy DIY decor and more, vintage style DIY, 
and clean it naturally. So I thought maybe I would do, maybe I'll test out some of the recipes and ideas on my channel. I thought that would be a good way to generate some content. And then you saw that they had some fall things. So I didn't get too much. I'm trying not to buy too much fall, but I did get this because I just thought it was really different. That you could even use on a DIY and potentially paint it if you didn't like the gold shimmer. Then I got this. I'm probably just going to use this exactly as it is, except maybe add a ribbon to the top just as an extra detail. But I thought that was really cute. A little mason jar. I did get one velvet pumpkin. I really wanted the other velvet ones to be blue because, you know, I'm doing like navy and white and orange for my fall decor, but they were green and so I left them. But I found these. These I've never seen in Minnesota. I know I knew they existed because I've seen them on other people's channels, but they have not had them at my uh, Dollar Tree. So these are red. I thought I could use those for Christmas time. And these have red and orange in them, which I thought would be really pretty for the fall. And then my favorite thing, there was only one. <laughs> I think it's so pretty though. So Hannah, I'm like, oh my gosh, for a dollar? We were like, that's really pretty. But it was the only one. So I'm going to look at other Dollar Trees out here. I definitely have not seen this in Minnesota yet. And then, oh, you saw I got the nail files and um, a little product review. I had gotten Chris, you can lean in and talk about it. I had gotten this for him for Christmas time. Yeah, and I mean, it's technically beard wash, but I think it's, they're just calling it beard wash. It's just a body wash. And my yeah. hairstyle, I mean, this is all I use for my whole person. And he so. had used it up. So that was actually yeah. an empty that we have. So I've So I that's got just my body one. wash, even yeah. though it's called beard wash. And then I did get, can you tell we're back east? Yeah. Uts. Uts. So I got this, just one flavor, just the classic. And I got a new candy to try, which I've never seen. Big chewy nerds. So. Gabe went into Walmart while we're here because he's on the hunt for something while we're on vacation, right, Gabe? Yes. And he wants to show you what he found. He's pretty excited. All right. So the first thing that I got. Well, tell it, them what you're hunting for. Well, I'm just kind of on the the hunt for some like Pokemon cards because mm -hmm. recently I've gotten into them, and I mean, my parents are collectors, and now I'm I'm a collector, and it, it works out that way. <laughs> But before I show you what I found, first, me and Hannah have been looking for disposable cameras. Found oh, these. I didn't know that you found those. Got two little disposable cameras there. Yay. On the beach, just kind of fun. More, uh, more personable than digital pictures because it makes sure you you take the right shot. Um, and then, and then. Got to get it right on the first try, right? For yes. For those of you who don't know, it's recently been Pokemon's 25th anniversary. Oh, okay. So they came out with these 25th anniversary packs that I haven't been able to find anywhere hey, that's else. That's very cool. Here. I got two of them, and one of them is opened. Um, so that one is the one I've yet to open, and then these are from the one I have opened. Basically, you get three really big Pokemon well. cards. Um, they're just like regular versions of Pokemon cards, but really big. That's it's like very a gimmicky cool. thing, but it's kind of cool. I like it. Um, and then, and then you get two regular kind of Pokemon packs and those. So oh, nice. I found those, got two of them. Very cool. So yeah, so that was a good stop. And now we're gonna head to our family member's house and we'll see you in a little bit.